do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that, we are studying topic acquired active immunity. Now when I say acquired, it means you have gotten or you have received it. And when I say active, it means it is very very specific or to the point. So what is this acquired active immunity? Let's study and find out about it. Acquired active immunity. Now when I say that word acquired active immunity, it means acquired means you have received it. And when I say active, it means it is very very to the point or at a moment. I can say that acquired active immunity is the resistance or the immunity that's developed by an individual as a result of antigenic stimulus of invading pathogen. What does it mean? Suppose a microorganism, a E. coli, is invading your body. You have eaten some kind of food stuff that was uncooked or that was raw or you can say that was pathogenic disease causing anything and you have consumed it. Now inside that food stuff there were E. coli which were of harmful species. Those harmful species of E. coli will obviously have antigenic substance in them and when those E. coli enter in your body with their antigenicity or their pathogenicity you are prone to an infection or you may get a disease. Now this antigenicity or pathogenicity of that particular E. coli or that particular organism when it evokes or evolves or causes an immune response inside your body it could be inflammatory it could be phagocytic anything then that is termed as acquired active immunity now acquired active immunity can be divided into two different categories one is naturally acquired active immunity and another one is artificially acquired active immunity now when I say artificially acquired active immunity, a simple example of this could be vaccines or vaccination that we all have taken in our life. That's an example. And when I say naturally acquired active immunity, a certain infection that you get, for example measles, chicken pox is an example of naturally acquired active immunity. Once you have got measles or chicken pox, you are not going to get it the next time in your body because once that happens to you, your body has gotten that antigen inside itself and your body will readily make its AB or antibodies, the fighter gun or fighter machinery and those antibodies would be readily stored inside your system or your body for a longer duration of time and whenever that similar pathogen invades your body, those antibodies will kill those antigens. Acquired active immunity. Now when I come across the terms acquired active immunity, acquired means you have got and active means it is sudden or to the point. I can say it's not late or it does not lay back on any other immune cell. Now resistance that was developed by an individual as a result of antigenic stimulus of an invading pathogen. A simple case could be you have got a food infection. That is a chance of an organism with its antigenicity to invade your body and your body in response to that can produce immune cells the fighting machinery or mechanism now initiate production of antibodies which can be termed as 
AB. Now, antibodies are nothing but I can say they catch hold of the pathogenicity or the antigen of the organism and try to kill it. There are two types of acquired active immunity present in individuals or human beings. Natural acquired active immunity. Now when I talk about this naturally acquired active immunity, it means that the immunity that was acquired due to an infection. Now when I say this, immunity that's acquired due to infection, how does that work out? For example, if you have got certain infections and this infections could be certain measles, chicken pox, whatever. Now once you get measles and chicken pox, especially chicken pox, once you have got chicken pox once in a lifetime, there are no other chances of getting chicken pox the other time. What happens is once you have got chicken pox, your antigenic reactions of that organism which causes chicken pox produces antibodies inside your body. And those antibodies will precisely try and kill those organisms and be ready with a memory for the next time. So if that pathogen invades your body for the second time, your antibodies that were formed during the first type of the reaction will try and kill them. So that is an immunity that's developed during infection. The second type is artificially acquired active immunity and students this one is gained by vaccinations. Your vaccines has antigen or microorganisms in killed form which elicit an immune response inside your body. Vaccines are nothing but dead attenuated organisms. I hope students you all are clear about this concept of this kind of immunity. Thank you.